Alright, I'm going to make a video with um, setting up my K-Back 27 with a, uh, with a reverse. Um, it's for my grinder which is coming along, however I'm still waiting for the motor. So while the motor's waiting, I thought I would uh, get this wired up with the reverse switch. So, uh, you know, two basic schools of thought when uh, pretty much all the grindy grinders that people buy, when you get these, they um, this is kind of how they come. They have some optional switches that are not typically included. For the reverse, uh, I suspect that that does not come for safety. Obviously, it's dangerous to go in reverse with... Um, you know, a system like this uh, that would be throwing things up and in your face. So I get that. And, um, but you know, the thing is with that is I'm going to be using um, the reverse setting for actually sharpening blades. So I'm going to be doing it at a very slow speed. Um, and I'll actually have the platen tilted, tilted up a little bit more on its axis. So it's not going to be coming straight up. And at the slower speed, I think that'll be fine. The other issue that I've read is that um, tracking. So the grinders uh, in a reverse setting may not track. I've heard um, mixed things on that, but I thought it was definitely worth the uh, the small price for the switch to to give it a try and uh, and see how it how it goes in reverse. So I'm going to get that installed right now. All right, so I've taken the rubber plug out of here and open this up and it's pretty straightforward. Basically, we've got this jumper right here needs to be removed and it is connected. Can't, it's not uh, focusing, but it basically I have uh, reverse a com and a forward terminal and the jumper is currently on the forward and the com so I'm going to remove that I'm going to set this down and remove that and I'll be right back all right so I've removed the jumper and then I'm going to attach the new switch which has three wires the well I'm not going to tell you the color because I don't want you to if whatever you buy might be slightly different but let me go ahead and get this plugged in and I'll show you what that looks like. I've got these, uh, yeah, the focusing just isn't working, but these three terminals back here that I'm going to plug into. All right, so you can see I've got these three plugged in. I slapped down a couple zip ties. And then I'll just run the toggle switch through the back here and uh, get that hooked up. And I just put the switch on. That's all back, ready to go. So now, once we get the motor, I'll give it a test and I'll keep you posted. All right, reverse switch installed on my esteemed grinder. So the grinder's all set up, ready to go. Got my forward reverse switch installed. Got my drive hooked up. Everything is pretty much ready to go. So let's test this bad boy out and see how it looks. So first things first, let's go uh, forward. I'm just gonna run this at a slower speed so we can hear things okay. So I can see that this is tracking just fine. Go ahead and uh, stop that, which basically there's a neutral on the switch, so I'm just in the middle. And then once everything stops, I'll throw it in reverse. Now, the one thing I can see right away is reverse. The belt instantly tracked to the right. So, let's see if we can bring that back in. Kind of keeps moving a little bit, so you got to be careful. Let's see if we can get that to center. So that looks like this is going to be fine for a slower speed, I suppose. But um, 
Actually, that's not too bad either. So I guess you just got to be sensitive with the tracking, but as you can see, that's running reverse and we're doing fine. No problem. No problem at all. So, uh, take it back, put it in forward. And then, yeah, so here's what we're going to have to do. If we're going to do this, we're just going to have to play with the tracking, forward and reverse. Again, no big deal. It takes a second, but I am satisfied. This was a successful, uh, successful attempt. Obviously, safety, 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 uh, but I'm very happy with this. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.